Hey Dan, do you remember Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly? It was a game developed by a company called Imagineering and published by Acclaim in 1991 for the Nintendo Game Boy. It was another one of those games that we played a lot as kids, especially on road trips, but I know we never actually finished it. There's always this one part where we would hit up against a wall, which I think was literally the mountain that you're supposed to climb at the halfway point. But I've gone back and I've figured it out, so follow along and we'll see if we can finally escape from Camp Deadly. Of course our old cartridge still works and our old Game Boy still works, but I'll be playing this one on an emulator. And the black and white color doesn't look quite right, so I'm just going to make one quick change. There we go. Much better. So, all you have to do is push start to begin. And this one actually has a, uh, a story and a cutscene. This is our counselor, Iron Fist Burns. He is Mr. Burns' nephew. And uh, his job is to make Bart and Lisa's lives miserable. Uh, what's interesting about this is it uh, it has a similar theme to the Camp Krusty episode of The Simpsons, where Bart and Lisa end up at a terrible summer camp. But this game actually predates that episode by about a year. And you can see all those very unhappy campers in the background there. Alright, and with his threats out of the way, we are ready to start the first level. So you see Bart there. Uh, nothing is going to come and attack him just yet, not until he goes past that first bulletin board. And you know, he controls, you know, right and left at the directional pad. He'll squat down if you hold down. Doesn't do anything if you hit up, but uh, you know, he jumps with the A button. And the B button is his attack. Now right now the only attack he has is this Spitwad, which will stun an enemy, but not uh, injure them. So let's go up to the bulletin board and see what the first level is. So the first activity is capture the flag. Team A is Bart. Team B is everybody else. And it does warn you no Spitwads, but again, that's sort of your only weapon to begin with. So. Uh, now the first challenge you come across is capturing the flag. You just uh, press up to climb up the trees. You can also jump and grab onto the trees. There you go. So you can grab the first flag and then stay above uh, that other camper there. And again, uh, you can, like I said, you can stun him with a spit wad, but. He'll just come back to life. So what you need to do is come over here. Lisa acts as your ally throughout the game. And she'll give you your first weapon, which is the boomerang. So up there in the top left, you can see you've got five boomerangs. Uh, the classic Bart Simpson weapon. I don't know why they didn't go with the slingshot. Uh, I assume it's because the boomerang will come back to you. So you can see anytime you throw the boomerang, the five goes down to four. You can only throw one at a time. When the boomerang is gone, you just go back to throwing spit wads. Uh, and now just to the right of the uh, boomerangs, you can see those two little circles. That's your health. I did not know this as a kid, but those are meant to be donuts. So you can collect more uh, off of counselors like that. You can see there are some who sort of flash. They have dark skin that sort of flashes. And when you hit them with a boomerang, like that, they will drop one of those donuts. And if you can grab it before it hits the ground and disappears, uh, then you get one more hit point before your death. Now, Bart can't swim, so you uh, just need to climb this tree here and make sure you've got your jump button ready. Go to the edge of the branch and jump across. The platforming is a little floaty in this game, uh, but it's not too bad. And now here comes another uh, very deadly enemy. These bees uh, will hit, will kill you in one hit, so you have to very carefully just sort of jump right across them and hope for the best. 
Uh, now we're coming up to the first boss. So you can see there's a, there's a river there that you can't jump across, so instead you have to climb this tree and climb it all the way up, and that'll take you to the first boss. So this is Blindside Bill's Treehouse. And the name is a clue to how to, uh, how to defeat him. So you'll see if Blindside Bill comes at you and you try to hit him, he'll just throw the boomerang back at you. So what you need to do is actually jump over him and fire down. There we go. And he'll even drop a couple of uh, those uh, extra donuts for you. Now don't drop down there, that's a death pet. Instead, walk over here. And Lisa will have a uh, will have another gift for you to help you out. And this is the beekeepers unit. Uh, quickly jump up to the left and grab that Krusty the Clown face. That's an extra life. And now you can't throw your boomerangs while you have the beekeeper outfit on, so you do just have to jump over enemies. But you need it to get that. Ooh. Hopefully I can get back without dying. Yes, okay, so that is, uh, that's what you need the beekeeper unit for. There's one little flag down there. And of course the beekeeper unit, uh, beekeeper outfit, rather, will uh, make you invincible to them. So once again, we're just gonna jump across this little river here. And that branch is gonna break. Oop. If you stay standing on it, it will break. Rather. Again, just gonna jump across. You can see when the branches are thin there right at the edge, you can't stay on them. Okay. So again, we just have to sort of be very quick with the bees. Try to lure them to one side and then go back the other way. Uh, now my best advice for dealing with all the other campers who will come at you in these sorts of swarms is uh, really just to hold still and uh, just let them come at you because they will eventually run out and uh, and you can just keep going. Now this is the uh, second boss inside the first level, at least I believe it is. So you can either skip the boss by jumping all the way right uh, across that lake, it's possible, or you can come up here. Uh, now as kids, we did not know how to get uh, rid of Rebound Rodney, because we kept trying to defeat him the same way that you do Blindside Bill, where you jump behind him. Uh, but he will not fall for that. He will immediately yeah, do that. And, you'll probably lose a boomerang. So instead, what you need to do is throw a boomerang away from you. There we go. And then hit him on the rebound. Again, jump over that. And now Lisa has another gift for you. So this is the reason to come up here and uh, defeat rebound Rodney is that uh, Lisa will have this special gift, which will transform you this time into a little football player. And this makes this next section very easy. You can see you can just run straight through all the other campers. As long as your hand is at the right elevation, which I'm not doing very well. There's also a Krusty the Clown head up there that I want to collect. But uh, again, as I was saying, you just sort of slowly make your way along here. You can try to uh, get up on that branch, but it will just sort of break beneath your weight after a moment. You'll see. There you go. Instead, you want to jump onto this log here. Again, the, uh, the platforming isn't fantastic in this game. It is a bit floaty, so it will take a bit of practice. Uh, but we're doing okay. We've got a uh, bunch of flags, four lives, and still four hit points. Uh, so uh, this should be the end of the capture the flag section, and the bulletin board will tell us what the next uh, level is, which I believe is going into the mess hall. Well, then that's where I'm going to end it for today. Let's just have a check here. 
There you go, lunch break. Devour every morsel. No food fights, you throw it, you eat it. Perfect. And then as soon as you go into the mess tent, the next part of the level will begin. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna end it there for today. So yeah, if you have any other uh, questions, anything specific you want me to look at, you just let me know, okay? All right, thanks, Dan. I'll talk to you later.